The elliptical select is for choosing an oval or circular area on an image. The basics are simply click, drag, and it creates a oval or elliptical selection. To make changes, click in any of the corners, drag in whatever direction you need to. If the width is fine, click on the top or the bottom to make adjustments. If the height is fine, click on either of the sides to change it to however you would like. Other basic options include with the shift key or this button over here, adding. You can draw additional ones. If you overlap it, it all creates it as one. Subtract from or press the control key. Again, if I click and drag over an existing one, it takes that chunk out. And then there's intersection, which is control and shift at the same time. If I click and drag, it keeps only the area of overlap. Other f options include aspect ratio. For example, I could type in 2 to 3. And as I draw it out, it creates a ellipse that's two units wide by three units tall. Regardless of how I adjust it, it maintains those proportions. Width selects the width ahead of time. And regardless of how you size it, the width is always 400. It can't be anything else. Height. Same thing. The height is fixed to 300 pixels. You can make it as wide as you want. And it maintains that fixed height. Expand from center. If you have something in mind that you want centered just perfectly, click at that point, drag out, and it helps if I don't have the fixed height for this demonstration, click, drag out, and the center of the ellipse is right where you started. You can also adjust the positioning of it, left or right, up or down, however you would like it. And there are also guidelines available. No guides, center lines or crosshairs. The rule of thirds. The rule of fifths. Golden sections. And diagonal lines. And one more option to point out is the highlight option. With it checked, when you draw your ellipse, it darkens everything outside of the selected area, helping you to see just what's been selected. One warning, though, is that if you do invert the selection, the highlighting is gone. Even if you do reinvert it, it's not there.